Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with another episode of the World Cup Sticker Book Collection. Now we're into episode number five. Rather than opening any packs today, we're actually going to have like a, a roundup, a Sunday roundup. We've opened packs on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday yesterday. So every week on a Sunday, we're going to have a uh, just a roundup to go through the book, see what we've collected so far, see what we're missing, and uh, just see how we're progressing throughout the series but of course on the opening page as you can see we've only got one sticker so far which is of course the the panini uh, logo itself i believe there's a, uh, a a logo for the world cup that goes in here as well I'm not too sure what the other one is uh, i've got it on the online world cup uh, sticker book thing but not on uh, on the actual sticker book but if you uh, want to check out the online one and do it yourself then there's a link in the uh, in the description to take to the FIFA website to do that so far we've only got half of one stadium in uh, Fortaleza and half of one in Salvador the Arena Fontanova and the Estadio Castellao now uh, I'm going to I'm probably going to skip through this quite quickly because I'm not too sure how long it's going to take to go through the entire book. So if I do skip past the team that you want to have a closer look at then feel free to uh, to pause the video at any particular point. But as you can see Brazil the hosts we only have three stickers so far. We've got the uh, the shiny national logo, Bernard the five star skiller and Hulk from uh, from Zenit St Petersburg. It would be nice to pick up some more Brazilian players uh, in the not too distant future. Only wrong only one Croatian so far, Dario Serna. Again, like I say, we've only been opening packs for three or four days, so we haven't got that much so far. But, as you can see, we've got three Mexicans, Peralta, Leun, and Montes. So, uh, we ca we're getting there with a couple of the uh, a couple of the nations. Again, three uh, three stickers for Cameroon. Charles Itanji, who I'm led to believe by you guys in the comments, used to play for Liverpool and apparently had a bit of an attitude on him. So, uh, he's an interesting one to have. I don't know anything about him, to be honest. I'm just going on what you guys have left uh, you know, as feedback in the comments. We've also got John McCoon and Benjamin McCanjo, obviously a striker for uh, the the uh, Cameroon uh, national side. We've got Alvaro Negredo, the only Spanish player we've got so far. I've actually got PK and someone else. I can't remember who. I think it's Sesc on the online one, but uh, so far only Alvaro Negredo for. Uh, for Spain, Holland have actually got five players, or the Netherlands, uh, Ron Vlaar, Bruno Mitter, Martins, Indy, uh, Daily Blind, who's actually a, a duplicate, Robin van Persie, which is, was a very nice pull, and Kevin Strootman of Roma as well. Into uh, the, the last of that group now, I think now it's Chile and Australia, we've got two, Arturo Vidal and David Pizarro, of course, both playing in, uh, in Serie A for their respective clubs, Juventus, and uh, is he still at Roma? I believe he's still, no, he's at Fiorentina, my mistake. David Pizarro is now at Fiorentina, but still in Serie A, so I guess uh, I was correct in some respects. But Australia, the last uh, the last team in that particular group, Group B, got Mario Yedinek of, uh, of Crystal Palace and then Dario Vidicic. I'm not too sure who he plays for, though it says FCC on there of the Swiss League. So that's who uh, he plays for. Just a uh, rather nice picture of uh, all of the different cities that are going to be hosting the uh, the tournaments. So you, uh, as you can see, obviously, the, uh, the iconic uh, statue of... Uh, the Christ there at Rio de Janeiro standing up on top of uh, the hill overlooking the uh, the city but we've only got one Colombian player Magnelli Torres uh, like I say we've only been opening a few packs so far we've had a couple of duplicates of which I will show you at the end I've got them here with me we've only got four or five duplicates but we've only opened 20 packs or so so you only get five uh, stickers per pack so we're doing quite well to have you know like five Dutch players and five Greek players here Torresidis, Papastolos, Papa Stopolos, rather. Papa Stopolos. Right, I will get that out. Manolas, Samaris, and uh, Sotris Ninis. So, Greece coming along quite nicely. Only Yaya Torre and Lucina Traore for uh, for the Ivory Coast. Of course, Yaya Torre came with the book. He was one of the uh, this opening six stickers that you actually get to start the collection. Got both the Sakais for, uh, for Japan. Gotoku Sakai and Hiroki Sakai. And then, of course... Uh, Yuya Osako down there in the bottom right hand side as well so three Japanese players not uh, the best but better than uh, Uruguay it has to be said we've only got the national team and uh, the shiny national badge uh, as of yet no Uruguayan uh, players whatsoever only one Costa Rican player as well in uh, Ariel Rodriguez we'll scoot across to England of course we've got the shiny England uh, 
flag in the opening pack, the very, very first pack that we opened. So that was nice, as was Phil Jagielka, I think, in that same pack as well. But we've also got a duplicate of him, and he's the only England player we've got to date. Italy, we're actually doing quite well, considering the, the, the level of player that we've got so far. Gianluigi Buffon, Matteo Di Cilio, Daniele De Rossi, and Mario Balotelli are four very, very good players for the Italian national side. Again, another just GFX page, I guess. Into uh, into Group E, we've got Switzerland, Johan Juru and Blerim Zamali. Zamali. I'm, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that, but uh, he plays for Napoli, apparently, although I wasn't aware of that. Uh, four Ecuadorian players so far. Jorge Guagua, Christian Naboa, uh, N of Valencia. We're still missing Antonio Valencia, of course, of Manchester United, and Felipe Caicedo, the, uh, the rather tall and strong striker. Let's move on to the next one, which is France. Hugo Lloris, of course, again, came as one of the stickers you get with the book. And then we've got Paul Pogba as well. A very, very strong central midfielder, obviously, coming from Juventus. Only one Honduran so far, Brian Beckles or Beckles. So uh, we could definitely improve there. Four Argentinian stickers so far, though only three of them are, uh, are actually players. Gonzalo Higuain, Lucas Pilia, and Marcos Rojo, who, in fact, I am going to have a look at on career mode in the next coming week or so. You'll see that in tomorrow's AC Milan career mode video, or maybe it'll be Tuesdays. One of the two upcoming, we're going to have a look at that man. But of course, we've got the uh, the national team as well. Stood there, the starting 11. I'm not sure what, what game it's from. You presume it's from one of the more recent uh, international friendlies that they've played. Uh, Bosnia, we've got four players so far. Uh, Emir Sparhic, as you can see in the bottom left-hand side there. Uh, Senad Ibricic as well, as well as Izet Harovic, Hajovic, Hay, Hay. I'm going to say this and it's going to kill me. Is it Hayerovic? Is it Hayerovic? I'm not too sure whether I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm probably absolutely butchering it. So let me know in the comment section if you do know how to pronounce it. Kind of spell it out phonetically for me in the comments so I can get that one correct in the future. We've also got Vedad Ibizovic in there as well. Moving forward into the Iranian side. And I've only got two Iranians so far, although this team on my online one is actually almost complete. We've got Payman Montezeri and uh, Adrianek Temurian. Uh, Temurian was probably one of the best players in that Iranian side, to be completely honest. But he'll push forward. Was not quite at Germany yet, because we've got three Nigerian players. Godfrey Aboa Bonna and uh, Namdi Adumadi. And, of course, the uh, team sticker as well from one of the recent friendlies. Same with uh, the Uruguayan and uh, the, uh, the Argentinian one, which we've got so far, we're actually doing quite well when it comes to Germany. Uh, one of the uh, obviously top five nations in uh, in world football right now. They've got the shiny national badge. We've got Marcel Smelser from Borussia Dortmund. Tony Cruz and Mario Goetze from FC Bayern München. And then Messi Ertzu from Arsenal, who of course is playing, literally as I record this, right now for Arsenal against Hull. So... Uh, Hopefully for them he does quite well. But Rui Patricio is the goalkeeper we managed to pull for Portugal. Also got Hugo Almeida as well up top to go alongside the Cristiano Ronaldo that again came with the book. So uh, pushing forward into Ghana. We're actually doing quite well with Ghana as well. Like Harrison, uh, Afoul, Michael Essien, obviously now AC Milan, Wakaso, uh, Kevin Prince Belting, and Asamoah Jan. So we've got five Ghanaians so far. We've got a couple of teams we've got three, four, or five for so far, which considering the, the small amount of packs we've opened so far is very impressive. Also got only Michael Bradley, unfortunately, for the USA so far. Uh, Belgium, Thibaut Courtois, of course, on loan at Atletico Madrid, will be playing against his parent club Chelsea in the Champions League on Tuesday. Very much looking forward to that game. And uh, Nasser Chadley as well, of course, the winger from Tottenham, playing for Belgium. Also in Group H, we have Algeria. We have Karl Majani and Mehdi Mustafa as well. Uh, only a couple for Algeria. Pushing into Russia, only the one Russian, Roman Shirikov, who of course was in the uh, open... No, he was one that came with the book, wasn't he? he? He came with the book, not in the opening pack. And in South Korea, the final team, we only have one player again. Ku Yash, or Ku Jachoel. Ja again, I apologise for any uh, butchering of pronunciations. And again, at the end of the book, it's just some, uh, some nice pictures of players scoring goals, etc. And there's some nice photographs and then just just promotional stuff for the rest of the book. So that's going to wrap this one up. Let's have a quick look at the uh, the duplicates we've got so far. We've got Daily Blind from uh, from Feyenoord. No, Ajax. I keep saying Feyenoord. He's not from Feyenoord. He's from Ajax. I apologise. Daily Blind, the uh, the wing-back for uh, the Netherlands. Phil Jagielka, obviously the England centre-back. Mary Gertz that we mentioned, the, ger the German uh, shiny national football team badge, which we mentioned. Michael Bradley and Kotoku Sakai as well. So hopefully we can avoid more... 
uh, more duplicates in the next in the upcoming week of course we'll have another one of this on monday and then wednesday friday saturday and then next sunday we'll go through the book again and see how we've progressed in the next second week but that's all for today guys please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind there would have been an episode of my player uploaded earlier on today in which we scored an absolute cracker i think it's probably the best goal that we've scored so far in that series it is a long video it's about 17 minutes long but it's definitely worth the watch so check that out if you missed it and uh, of course there will have been a my player yesterday and an, an earlier uh, pack opening version of uh, this particular series as well but that's all for today guys subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss out on any content coming to you here on Chesno Gaming we've got this series the My Player series and of course the AC Milan Carimo series which will be returning to you tomorrow so that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time